Hello, and welcome to Meredith College's commencement 2020. This is a very different year and a very different ceremony, but we want the class of 2020 to have its moment on commencement day in celebration of your achievements. As we stay at home, as we practice social distancing and other mandated and common sense precautions, we want you to know that we are with you in spirit and we are celebrating with you right now. Our ceremony here reflects some of the highlights of the Meredith commencement, designed to be a tribute to your achievement, but in an abbreviated form. After all, there are not 500 or so students to walk across the stage, at least not yet. We are anticipating a face-to-face -face commencement when it is safe to do so. This ceremony offers a few thoughts on this time and your accomplishment in the coronavirus, but especially in the years you've put into this achievement. We'll observe the official conferral of degrees and then the turning of tassels and rings and the hooding of our master's degree students before concluding with a final message. In thinking about remarks for this important occasion, I thought of Jeff Mallett, a cartoonist who began his comic strip, Fraz, in 2001. Now the strip features a school custodian, a bit of a philosopher, mentor, artist, and sage, and his interactions with young students and older teachers and principals as together they navigate learning and life. A cartoon that ran on April 17, 2020, has an interesting message full of wisdom and relevance for the days of coronavirus and for life beyond. The cartoon opens with an adult asking Fraz, how can creating stuff enhance your memory if you don't ever look back on the stuff you created? Fraz responds, it happens on the front end. To create is to focus deeply on the experience that becomes memory. To whom the adult says, so it's not someday we'll look back on all this. Fraz says, more like, this needs to be something worth looking back on. Graduating students, at a time we cannot be together and when your time at Meredith is concluding on what is typically described as a bittersweet note, but rarely on a difficult note, I want you to remember that this needs to be a time worth looking back on by which I mean your time at Meredith and this pandemic, and not just in disappointment and sadness, but as a time for reflection on the even broader evidence of the value of the Meredith experience, the cherished relationships you've built with faculty, staff, and friends, and the unique certainty that building a life based on your strengths is the best way to move forward. Dr. Carol Dweck, eminent psychologist at Stanford University, has researched and written extensively about what she calls the growth versus a fixed mindset. The fixed mindset is the embodiment of the belief that we're about as smart as we're ever going to be. The growth mindset, on the other hand, demonstrates the belief and evidence that with hard work and effort, adaptation of new learning strategies, coaching and feedback, we can indeed become smarter. While we all have both fixed and growth mindsets, often triggered by the situation at hand, Meredith has given you a chance to explore ways you can grow intellectually and beyond. Those who have taken those lessons, those victories to heart, as you've learned to master difficult materials and not just complete a course of study, but to put that study to use and be excited about learning, absolutely embody that growth mindset. One way so many of you have done so is to study your talents and work to develop them into strengths that have and will continue to serve you in the days and years ahead. And the value of strengths starts at the beginning of the process, discovering with great certainty the things that are right about you then putting those strengths into action to develop your plans for your best college experience based on academic, experiential, financial, and career pursuits, 
offers greater uh, value uh, for knowing and applying your strengths. And that's worthwhile knowledge and a worthwhile application of your strengths. But it is not enough and it is not all. Because ultimately the value of knowing your strengths and how to use them is that the knowledge and practice build resilience. In short, it's great to use your strengths when things are going well. They represent a way of imagining and pursuing your future. But when life disappoints you or disrupts your plans for the future, knowing your strengths gives you a roadmap for bouncing back. And that's the essential value of resilience. In these times, I think we all know that there are important lessons to be learned about our education, our world, our relationships, and ourselves. Ultimately, you and we will rise. As we do, let's be mindful of our strengths and the need for resilience, of the value of approaching these times with a growth mindset, and most important, with the wisdom of Fraz, to recognize this needs to be something worth looking back on. I celebrate you all. I can't wait to be with you again, and I hope that you will have the very best life imaginable. I love you and I'm proud of you all. So now, let's get down to business. The faculty and the Board of Trustees have approved the conferral of degrees to the graduating seniors and the graduate students of the class of 2020. We especially salute the students who are graduating with the highest academic honors. For undergraduate students, those honors include summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. For the graduate students, that honor includes graduating with a 4.0 grade point average. So now, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Meredith College, I confer upon you the bachelor's degree or the master's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining hereunto. Congratulations. Undergraduates, you may turn your tassels and your rings. Graduate students, you may don your hoods as your symbol of achievement. Now, as we close, I hope you'll remember always that you are the class of 2020, a distinction I doubt you will forget. You're the class that could not be together in person for this momentous celebration. But I want you to remember something else as well, a pretty surefire prediction, that we will never need more college-educated people than we do as we rebuild and recover from this pandemic. Healthcare workers, business leaders, entrepreneurs, teachers, social workers, psychologists, historians, public policy and data analysts, um, scientists, technologists, communicators, nutritionists, journalists, and other writers, and artists of all kinds who help us capture and interpret what this time has meant in our history. We need you all, so please stay in touch with us. Bless you, and good evening. <laughs>